Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel! Well, today's video allow me to give you an update about our rabbitry. But before that, I am going to make an update also about what is happening here at the house. Well, you know that we have a backyard farming of this tropical fish that are just here situated at the side of this house and I have here just 300 square meters for our breeder fish when I started farming this tropical fish I only have wooden boxes and I only have a small area where to breed my tropical fish and now we have expanded our territory and I'm so glad that this success had not become possible overnight there is no shortcut to success I believe because we have to go to a process, we have to face so many challenges. We even have to deal some big problems for us to become successful. This is my principle in life that there is no shortcut for success. So today, I'm going to make an update about our office. Well, right here, we made an office for editing purposes. We are editing our videos right here inside and this is just a small room for us to have a privacy during our editing of our videos and I'm so glad that we already have accomplished this one and of course we already have completed also the fencing of this area with no robbers and intruders could easily get our fish because I've been robbed so many times of our expensive breeder fish right here so this is an accomplishment actually and I would like to say that this is our success and you are part of this because I've been encouraged by your comments, your suggestions, and I have learned so much of the lessons that you have put in in the comment section. And that helps me a lot. So we already have perfected the breeding of our catfish, actually. And uh, the breeding of catfish is not that easy. Other channels would just say it's easy, but for me, it's really difficult. And I would like to reveal to you the step-by-step -step process how to become successful in catfish farming especially in the hatching of the eggs that would be our future content when we are gonna be able to perfect the step-by-step -step process on how to hatch the eggs of the catfish and one of the marks of our success is the fact that we were able to build these concrete tanks. Well, this entails budget actually. And we, I spent a lot of money for this to be able to come up with these concrete tanks. And this additional tank that we have here is just made of wood. And I'm so glad that our fish have saved tanks right now because they are not any more vulnerable to the birds and even the cats. So I made this very special for the goldfish where we can see the red cups, we can see the water bubble eyes. So I intended this to be the special tank for the breeders. And every day we are cleaning this one. I did not anymore use the overhead filter, but I used the plants and the air pump. And this is already good if we will just reduce regularly 25% of the water and then add new water on each of these tanks. These are our success and I'm so excited to let you see about the fry of this goldfish in the next couple of videos that we are going to make. And we will load this one to our mud pan. And by the way, I am about to harvest the koi and the goldfish right there at the mud pan because they are already big now and that's gonna be an exciting, very exciting moment to celebrate when we're gonna get some big and healthy koi and goldfish right there at the mud pan and we will be sharing also our mistakes so that you will not commit the same i told you that we have to learn this together this is an integrated farming i am new to this but i am so positive that we can grow this farm and will become successful of course with you guys so allow me to just give an update about our rabbitry. In the last video that we have uploaded about rabbitry, we made mention about the mysomatosis, a deadly disease for the rabbits. 
and we visited the sick rabbits of our neighbor, Arnel. I hope you can recall it, that these rabbits really are so sick that they are dying. And we injected this ivermectin with the hope that they can recover from the illnesses. And I am so glad today because yesterday I asked my staff to verify if these rabbits of our neighbor Arnel have recovered. And I'm so glad to hear the reports that these rabbits really have recovered because of the ivermectin that we have injected in the body of these rabbits. So these are the milestone and this is a verified thing that I can share with you that rabbits sickness are curable. It's only a matter of giving them time and attention. So now let's go to the farm and we will have so many updates about our rabbitry as our business. And I will reveal to you some basic secrets on how to become successful in this rabbit farming and how to treat the very common disease which is called the mains that will cause rashes or rabbits that will eventually lead to their death. And come on, let's go and let's have beautiful engagements with these rabbits. Sometimes it feels like I'm all alone. So guys, we are now right here inside our rabbitry. I'm so glad because I was informed that we have produced again another batch of these kittens that are due for harvest maybe two weeks from now. One month ago, we were able to make a good harvest and we're able to sell this at a good price at the pet store. And this is our business. We're not into selling this rabbit meat yet because all the kittens are sold as pets. And we have so many conflicting opinions about eating rabbit meats. Well, I believe that there is no more argument about eating rabbits. And it's up to you whether you like to pet a rabbit or would like to consider this as a commodity. Well, it doesn't problem. It doesn't matter. My purpose of having this video is to give some guidance to all of you who wanted to, you know, engage in this kind of business. Well, rabbitry is already a form of lucrative business. This is even comparable to raising chickens because these rabbits are very saleable. Maybe you will ask Dexter, what problems did you encounter about this rabbitry? Well, we have so many problems. I have to be honest with you. We have so many difficulties and struggles about this rabbit farming. Number one is the presence of the rats. The rats really are eating the kids. That is why I decided to put these rabbits inside in these delivery cages where the rats cannot get inside and one good thing is that when they are allowed to dig and bury their kids underneath the ground the rats could not anymore disturb them and this is what happening actually now because these rabbits are fun of digging and giving birth inside the hole and then after giving birth they will cover their hole living underneath the ground their kittens and this is an amazing fact that i have discovered and they are actually producing more or less kits in their natural way of producing it meaning that they are producing kits like they produce in the wild not in captivity why i said this because they are able to act like rodents and i believe that these rabbits really are capable of you know making some steps on hiding the kids underneath the ground so that the prey or other predators would not be able to disturb it 
And uh, this is the problem, the rats and even the lizards are coming during the night and number two is the so-called the mains you know i also have encountered problem about the mains but i would like to reveal to you very honestly that there are some ways on how to address the problem and one of the methods that i employed in this rabbitry is to give them a bath yes that's correct i am giving bath to rabbits who are suffering from mites and other parasites and i'm using the shampoo that is intended for the chickens so there are many shampoos that are available for the chickens and it works well it works very effective that's why i really have addressed this kind of problem and all the rabbits now that are here our breeders are no longer suffering this kind of skin disease and this is one of the best practices that I would like to share with you. Another problem about this rabbitry is the diarrhea. Well, I believe so that this kind of problem is common because rabbits' tummy will easily be disturbed if they are not given the correct food. So what's the correct food? Well, we give a lot of grasses, but one of the things that we did is to dry up these grasses. We will not give wet grasses to these rabbits. If you can give a dried hay that's better so this is our practice we don't give the fresh grasses to the rabbits especially during dawn we get these grasses at dawn and they are wet and then you will give that immediately to the rabbits that's really not allowed meaning that's that practice should be corrected so that was our practice before and since we have learned this from our experience we are sharing this now to you guys in order for you also to become very successful in so far as this rabbit business is concerned. So guys, we will witness now an amazing fact about these rabbits. You know, this doe has just allowed the kittens to come out from the big hole that this doe has dug and uh, allowing the kittens to surface on the ground. Ten days ago, you will not see any evidence that she has delivered the babies. But now, she's ready to expose the babies underneath the ground. And this is what I am talking about. If you will just allow the rabbits to dig and deliver babies on the ground, then that's the most wonderful thing to happen in your rabbitry because they will certainly be safe from the predators outside. So this is our practice. Some of them, of course, are not digging and not covering their, their babies, but most of them are doing the same. And this process is also economical and time-saving for our workers because they will not anymore give extra care they will not anymore devote their time for the kittens because the mother is really taking care of them so guys this is another success for this rabbitry i have witnessed that one doe really has allowed the kids to come out from the big hole that she has dug 10 days ago. And I was informed that these kids are 10 days old and they are now uh, freely roaming around the surface on the ground. And whenever this happens, this is an indication that the doe have sense that the kids are already safe to be exposed and be seen by human beings. So guys, this is the new improvement 
that we have made on this rabbit tree. On this side, we made this concrete because we wanted to collect the rabbit dung every day. So these are good source of fertilizer and we are also envisioning to collect the urine of these rabbits because I've learned that this is also a good source of fertilizer to some plants. I don't know about this, we have to make further research about rabbit urine, but this is my plan also, to collect the urine of the rabbits every day and also uh, the dung of these rabbits. So guys, allow me to say this with confidence, that rabbits have heat period. I don't believe that rabbits have no heat period. And I would like to say this per experience. I personally believe that rabbits have really certain time for breeding. I don't believe that you can breed that anytime and they get pregnant anytime. Because there are times that the rabbits will refuse or the does will refuse the bat. And if they are forcibly mated, they will not get pregnant. But if you will wait that time that the doe is experiencing the heat period, then that's the time that this doe will become pregnant and you will not experience the so-called false pregnancy. And I have experienced this one. No matter what you say, this is what I believe and I am saying this with confidence. By the next month, we are expecting that there are 15 does that are here that will deliver kits. And I am expecting to harvest more than 100 of these little kits, very wonderful kits, from this farm. So this is our experience and I would like to share this with you in order for you to be guided or maybe you already have the system that is effective for you then there's no problem but what i'm talking about is based on the personal experience insofar as this rabbit farming is concerned so i hope guys you will continue to follow our videos and if you are new to this channel i am humbly asked you to please subscribe if you are not subscribed and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every five days only here at Dexter's World!